guys it's Sibri and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey I'm Sibri and I make Sims 3 content so today I am doing a current household video for the month of March if you haven't seen any of my current household videos I will leave a link to them in the description but this current household video is actually different from my prior ones if you've seen a lot of them you know that I'm doing I usually do a current household video on two different families that are both like interlinked and related which is the Sinclair and the Brinley family but this family is actually unrelated to those two. This family is a continuation of my all-in-one Let's Play series that I did a couple months back. So if you do want to watch the all-in-one Let's Play series, I definitely recommend because she is the daughter of like the main character and her backstory, like you can see a lot more in the all-in-one, but I am going to go over it briefly, of course. But yes, the inspiration to this all-in-one or the inspiration to this current household video was because of course my girl Breelin she wanted to become a chef and own her own bakery and she was super into like cooking and stuff like that and I really 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 just wanted to play like a cozy farm like bakery you know like I just wanted all of that I really love baking and cooking and farming in The Sims 3 and I just wanted to play a family that was super into that so yes I have a lot to get through and we also have a lot of animals we have a huge farm a bakery like there's so much I need to show you guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and hop right into it so yes as I said this is our sim Breelin and this is her farm that she inherited so um, if you didn't watch my all-in-one let's play basically her mother was like a huge celebrity in um, Evansdale County and I guess Breelin just wanted the slower life and she was really craving that and she ended up inheriting this farm from her grandmother and she pretty much decided you know what I she also got pregnant right after high school which I'm gonna get into that because if you missed that that was actually crazy because that happened literally at the end of the series <laughs> but um she really wanted the slow life she didn't really want to be famous you know both of her parents were super affluent and rich and wealthy and she wanted to get away from all the stardom that came with being the daughter of a rich celebrity and that's why she moved here. Um, her parents did not really care for living on the farm so that's why she's here by herself. She also has two sisters too and her whole family is here including her aunt Delaney. They're all in this world which you guys will see later on um, but yes so she lives on this farm with her husband Jax, her high school sweetheart. This is him over here. I'm gonna get more in depth with them but I just want to show you guys quickly. Ugh, he's so cute. I can't. I literally can't. He's so handsome and they also recently had a daughter. They actually got pregnant with her like literally right after right after out of high school um, and she's super cute. Her name's Kinsley and if you guys could notice, um, she is also pregnant again, so she's pretty far along. She might even give birth in this video. I'm not 100% sure, but she is very pregnant. Um, but before we get into the Sims, I do want to show you guys this farm. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, first of all, I did not build this, y'all. Y'all know. If you guys know me, you know I suck at building and I suck at decorating. <laughs> but um, this um, house, or yeah, this farm was actually built for another YouTuber um, by another YouTuber. So I will have her video linked. Um, it did not come furnished, so I did have to decorate it myself. Um, but it's not fully decorated because they're kind of low on funds well they're not super low on funds but I don't know they're just kind of starting out and it just wouldn't make sense for everything to be done perfectly um but yeah I also added like this tractor over here and like this whole like garden I added all of that I, or, I added this like chicken coop area for like the bees and everything and the chickens and I also added in um this cow area 
I added all that in and I also added I added so much y'all I wanted to do everything I, and I have a lot of stuff from the store as well I also added in this little like shed back here so this is for like the seeds I think and um inside of this little shed we have like oop I don't mean to go up like that we have the like witch thing <laughs> the alchemy station i mean we have that and um we also have down here the um nectar making so we actually do make nectar um our girl breelin has been messing around with the nectar making but we we haven't been here in this world for that long so it's not that much done but we also have an inventing table and like a um sculpting station and this like seat or not i was about to say a seed extractor this is like the uh, gem cutter or whatever and also over here we have like this flower station that is um a mod super cool i think it's based off of the sims 4 yeah um but i i love it i love it i also added this like swimming pool it's it's not we're not gonna talk about it <laughs> okay i'm not gonna i we're not gonna talk about the swimming pool um over here we have like this cool pond that goes under this like jacuzzi area this is probably one of my favorite parts of the house like ah oh, it looks so good um so yeah we also have like this little area for the kids to play which is so cute and we have a whole bunch of space for our horses so this is one space for them to train and in the um stalls we have well in the barn we have two stalls for the um horses and we have a little shower area um so yeah all of this came like this like this part i did not do this at all and this looks amazing um and we have like a bed for the doggy and like we have all of this, this is so cool like i literally love this so much and then up here um there was just like empty space up here so i just decided to add in like a bunch of um like habitats for like turtles and lizards and all the small animals that we catch um because maybe you know we might catch some small animals and want to keep keep them so that's for that and then over here is like the main part for the horses to train which i think is really really cool um that's one of our horses troy right there um i love that um this is just the garage we only have one car um but they don't really go anywhere honestly besides the bakery which i will show you guys the bakery because the bakery is beautiful but um yeah that's that's the garage and Jax actually is the main one that works in the farm and does like the gardening because he is a gardener so this garden is mainly for him but he does give like all the like veg or not vegetables all the fruits and like um grapes to his wife so that she can make nectar but everything else he sells and i'm not sure if this tractor track even works i haven't tried it we don't even have any crops to water so we haven't even used that yet not sure if it's gonna work um i have to test it out but yeah i love this chicken area look there's little eggs oh my gosh wait that's so cute um yeah i went kind of all out with <laughs> all of this we have so much stuff the bees are always stinging my man jay uh Jax as well which is really sad <laughs> i feel so bad for him but yes look at the little cows like oh this is so cute y'all like i love this game so much but yes i feel like Jax does a lot more of the outdoor work because breelin has a whole um bakery literally right over here that she runs pretty much all by herself so you know there's just a whole bunch going on but I guess we can go more so into the house now. So the front of the house just has this little seating area. I don't know if I even showed you guys this, but it's a little seating area with for like the dogs and stuff like that. And uh, super cute, super cute stuff. Um, so yeah, I did mention that the house did not come decorated. So I did have to decorate um, the house. So this is the front of it the foyer or whatever pretty basic and there's a half bathroom right here that i did as well and then over here is the living room which i did kind of cute kind of cute not too much cc in here I, I like it i like it it's not my favorite that i've done but it looks good and we have our little baby uh toddler thing right there the playpen 
Um, and then we have a bunch of nectar racks because I do plan on having her fill that up with nectar. Um, and then, yep, this is the dining room. Super, super cute. And then over here we have the, um, we have a, like, rack for the honey that we have gotten. Um, definitely plan on selling it eventually, but we've been kind of stocking up on that. We also have jam. So this is strawberry jam that she made. Um, I still want to make more jam. I really love making jam in this game. It's super cool. Um, so yeah, this is the canning station from The Sims 3 store. I've actually just started playing with it and it's super cool. I love making jam and stuff like that. And then, yep, this is the kitchen. Super cute. We have the um, like Japanese grill over here, which I love. Y'all... If y'all can't tell, I love food in The Sims 3. I love food. So all of this is just amazing. And then we, of course, have the baker stand because she is a, ba or a baker. Yeah, she's a baker or whatever. And then um, let me put the walls down. If we come over here, this is supposed to be like an office area. But I just didn't have enough. I just didn't care enough to decorate it yet. I definitely plan on decorating it eventually. But, you know. I'm kind of lazy right now, y'all. And then we have an extra bathroom and a um, open like laundry room space right there. And then if you come up, there's a freaking giant tree going into the house. But we have an extra bathroom right here. This is the baby room. I went with a teal color. Or is that even teal? I don't know. Whatever color this is, I think it's really pretty and I love it. So yes, I kind of went with that theme for all the baby stuff. A bunch of cat stuff a bed so as you guys can see this house does come with three bedrooms or not three oh my gosh it comes with four but only two of them are decorated so yeah i need to decorate more but anyways this is the bathroom the master bathroom and this is breland and jax's room i kind of went with the same colors throughout the whole house um i don't know why i just love this color i've been feeling it i really have been so yeah, that's pretty much the whole house. So I guess I can introduce you guys to The Sims and then I will give you guys a tour of this beautiful bakery over here because oh, I love it. I love it so much. But yes, yeah, so this is Breelin as you guys heard her backstory or if you're oh and I forgot. Oh my gosh, wait, before I get into their backstory, this is the, um, the back porch where they like grill and stuff yeah i think that's super cool i can't believe i forgot this part because this is one of my favorite parts of the house as well um and there's so much pets like items scattered around the house um because this house actually was made for um a like generations pets lp so that's why that you see a lot of like pet stuff and i i just love that i love it i love it i love it anyways <laughs> So back to um, Breelin, if you guys didn't know, she, like I said before, she is from my All in One Let's Play series and she grew up in a really rich and famous family and she always had a love for baking and things of that nature. I had to zoom into her face because she is so gorgeous. She looks just like her father. <laughs> I know usually that's an insult, but like her dad is fine so that's a compliment but yes um she grew up really really rich and she just never really cared for the celebrity life she she just loved baking um and she met her um her husband when she was a child they grew up together and they ended up getting engaged right after high school and i don't know if you guys you guys are gonna have to go back to the last part of my all-in-one let's play series because I, right after they both aged up they literally woohooed and i i like cut to the next day because i was like okay i'll be back in the next day because i thought they were just woohooing but no they were trying for a freaking baby and i the next day i realized she was freaking pregnant and it was the last day that i was recording the last day she decided to get pregnant by this man right before graduation so yeah um <laughs> that's breland's life um she also had the lifetime wish to um like learn every recipe and as soon as she aged up she she just she completed it she she learned every recipe somehow even though she still hasn't so i don't i don't know how that happened but 
honestly, it's fine because I, I have other goals that I want her to accomplish throughout her life, and it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. But anyways, these are her um, traits. She's star quality, family oriented, natural cook, irresistible, and charismatic. These are her favorites, and she ages up in 18 days. She's a Libra. And so yeah, she's pregnant and she actually is a nectar maker. She just joined the career, so she's only level one. But even though she makes nectar, like I feel like the nectar is kind of like her side hustle, but her owning the bakery that's literally right next door to her house, that is where she like makes most of her money or whatever. And then over here, we have her husband, aka her baby daddy, who she grew up with. They, they're just so cute, and he's so handsome. Like, he's one of my favorite male sims like ever. He looks so good. But yeah, he looks so good. So basically, um, Jax didn't grow up like rich like Breland did. He grew up pretty like poor, and he wasn't never like a country boy. Cause I know he looks like a country boy right now, but he did not grow up like like in that life he grew up in the city just like Breland but when she said that she wanted to move to this farm he was so excited with it that he pretty much embraced the like the country life I guess and that's why he looks like this and I just think he's so cute he looks like a little cowboy but um he is um, employed in the gardener career. He is level four, and his uh, traits are love the outdoors, handy, animal lover, green thumb, and angler. These are his favorites, and he ages up in 18 days as well. They are literally the same age. And yeah, he takes care of this whole farm, like in terms of like the outdoor stuff, like he maintains the cows, the chickens, the, the garden, all of that, and the horses. So he's working outside a lot. Um, he he's he's they they're never like not busy in this house. Honestly, like honestly and truly. So yeah, that's that's Jax for you. Also, he does have a custom lifetime wish, which is to be a first class farmer, which is master the gardening skill and sell fifty thousand dollars worth or fifty thousand simoleons of harvested produce. I'm pretty sure that's a custom a lifetime wish and I think it's super cool. Um, it's my first time playing with it and I really hope that he can accomplish his goal. I really, really do. And then moving on to their firstborn, her name is Kinsley. Look at how adorable she is, like please. She's so cute. Um, there's not much to her because she's a toddler. Apparently she's a great kisser. Um, I don't know how a toddler can be a great kisser, but she was born with those traits. She's also excitable, and um, she ages up in four days. So she actually did just become a toddler. Um, actually, I need to say this. If you guys want to get a better scoop of like my gameplay with my current households, I definitely recommend checking out my um twitch because if you follow me on twitch you would have already seen like her age up and stuff because i stream that so totally follow me on twitch link in the bio or description <laughs> but anyways she is a sagittarius and these are her traits or whatever her likes so yeah there's not much to her but i definitely want her and her sibling however many siblings she has to inherit the farm and pretty much have Breelin and Jax pass on the farm to their future children so that's pretty much the goal there okay now on to the part that is the most exciting for me i mean the farm itself was super exciting to show you guys but now oh wait 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 i'm always like skipping over stuff i need to introduce you guys to all the pets oh my goodness okay so yeah we actually have two of each animal we have um two dogs two cats and two horses so um one horse over here who's inside of a gate <laughs> this is coda he's super cute he's our boy husky or whatever and then we have two horses so this is blossom she looks just like the other horse here but that's a blossom <laughs> And then we have Mimi over here. She's super cute. Oh, both of them are sleeping together. Look at how cute that is. So yeah, we have um, Mimi and then this is Benji. 
so yeah as you guys can see we have a boy and a girl of like each one so we're literally noah's ark like seriously anyways um and then this is um ginger our girl dog i don't really play with small dogs if you guys notice i really like big dogs but um i was like you know what i'm gonna get a small dog so yep and then this is troy over here our horsey our male horse and yes he's so so handsome and cute so yes that's the whole farm now i can show you guys the bakery because i'm i'm so excited so basically um breland decided to buy out this property that was right next door to the farm so that she could make her own bakery and this is what it looks like it's super super cute and i love playing in it ah i love this i will have a link to this bakery in the description i did change um some of it up because um some of the colors didn't look right i don't know if it's just because i was missing like certain certain expansion packs or something i don't know but um i did have to change some stuff up but this is pretty much really really similar to how it looks in the pictures so i would totally recommend looking at this it has a lot of custom content but i love it so much y'all i love this so much so i have so much to show you guys like first of all if you guys have seen my latest um mods video i talk about different like custom recipes and um i have a lot of custom recipes that you guys will see so totally recommend checking that video out as well <laughs> but this is the bakery i love that there's people here so i was actually afraid to like run my own bakery because i've never done this in the sims 3 i was really afraid because i heard a lot of like negative stuff that the bakery doesn't work properly i don't i don't really know but for me it's been working really good like for me so i don't i don't know but yeah this is like the front of it we have like these baked goods on display so cute now these are not functional obviously but we do have stuff on display that is functional um so yeah we have like these these things that breelin cooked right here now i will say that breelin she can't cook stuff and like put it in the inventory like like she can't cook stuff at this bakery and put it in the inventory she has to make everything from home and then bring it over here that's the only like weird thing but this food has been here for a while and it hasn't like went bad i do have a mod that like allows my food to stay good for several days so that might be why i don't have any problems with the bakery i will have a link to that mod in the description if anyone wants to check it out because it does help a lot but anyways this is what we are working with let's go ahead and look inside oh, i love how girly it is and i also have the tea set as you guys can see this random man <laughs> is using the tea set and i i love this uh, it's my first time playing with this as well um so yeah and then we have the i love this oh, it's so cool the cashiers and there's random people here um, I love the seating areas on the inside and the out. And we have a bunch of like decor and stuff. I love these recipe like these um these goods on display. Um, but yeah, these are the ones that you can actually buy. So right here we have a pumpkin pie, a banana cream pie. Almond macaroons is actually a custom recipe. We have cinnamon rolls, chocolate chip cookies, plum pie, and we have pistachio biscotti. So that's also a custom recipe. And then over here, um, these are also like just for display. They're not actually real. Same with this like jam over here, but I think it's so cool. And then over here we have like a little seating area. Oh, whatever. Yes, yes. And up here, upstairs, we have like an actual bar. So a bartender will come and tin the bar. And then we have these recipes on display. So these are actually like you can pick them up and like eat them. Like actually, for some reason, it hasn't been working. I don't know if it's because like it's in this display, but it looks like someone like took something. Yeah, it looks like someone took like one or two of these. But these are like mainly like French uh recipes and um like christmas recipes like we have like a croissant i think this is a eau claire or something 
yeah it's an eclair like we have a bunch of french pastries and i just love it and we also have the bakery stand but obviously it, it, it's weird i can't like drag stuff that she makes into the the um the display it doesn't let me do that so yeah i don't make food on the actual lot but i i love this so much like this is so cute and then we have a bathroom back here um i guess it's, it's just a unisex bathroom everybody uses just one bathroom and yeah it's super cool like uh, i love it and the outside area is pretty basic i added some stuff like i added this grill and this area for farming because i do want to like i do want to add like crops and stuff so that anybody can garden here i would love that and then we have another flower station and a beehive thing and yes that is the bakery that breelan works at um she is going to head there in a little bit usually what i have her do is take care of kinsley um i will have her take care of kinsley and then make like some food and then she'll come over to the bakery and that's pretty much like how she starts her day while whereas Jax mainly like eats takes care of all the pets and takes care of all the outdoor stuff that's usually how we go and before we hop into the actual gameplay of the current household video i do want to show you guys the world we're playing in we are in the world of cloverdale which is by my sim realty it did not come um populated and it also didn't come with that many houses like i think these two are like the only houses <laughs> that came with the world so as you guys can see it's a super small world i plopped in a couple houses and like a bar but i didn't really add much to it because i really wanted them to live in a super super small town because i feel like people who have like huge farms like this they usually live in the outs outskirts of like the rest of the world i guess and i think that would just make more sense and also i have a lot of custom content and like this this is just huge like it would be so laggy if i played on this in like a huge world so i love this world um i will have it linked in the description below as well um and also jax's parents live right here the paid in household yeah that's that's where they live and then um where is this is where breland's family lives i think oh wait no that is not where they live where do they live oh i think they live here okay yes this is where the La other lancasters live so um i didn't even show the family tree but this is her dad theo and her mother briella and then briella also has a sister named delaney who is evil she's an evil gold digger so <laughs> that's her sister they all live in the house together and breland's um twin well they're not her twin sisters but her sisters are twins and they both live with their family one is named oakley and the other one is named odessa and yes that's that's the family tree that we're working with so yeah i pretty much have the idea that like they pretty much came to Cloverdale with Breelin just to be supportive, but they don't plan on staying forever. That's pretty much the idea that I have in my head because they're just not country folk, you know what I mean? Like, they just want to be back in the city. They're just here for support. <laughs> but um, I guess we can go ahead and start with the let's play or the gameplay part of this. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and have Breland do is we're gonna go ahead and bake something because we do need to bake for um, something for the um, bakery because we are gonna head over there soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and have her make, uh, let's go ahead and make some cupcakes. Um, she still needs to learn a lot more like recipes for desserts because so far we only really know the ones that come with the like baker stand or the bakery like thingy majigger you know the bakery oven so that's pretty much the plan but she's gonna make some cupcakes and then we'll head over to the bakery and then little um kinsley is learning to talk still so i'm gonna just cue that up for her and Jax is out here what is he doing he has a lot to do and he was stung by bees yesterday so i feel really bad for him <laughs> um what is she he doing oh he's about to give a flea bath to the dog a lot of the pets have fleas and i'm honestly not sure if 
we're gonna be able to clean them because none of them want to be cleaned by us let's see is he gonna Ooh, she said no you cannot bathe me okay all right well we have other stuff that we need to do um let's see what can we do over here okay i'm gonna have him go ahead and clean the horse stalls and then we can oh look at the chickens oh they're all out okay i'm gonna have him um feed all of the chickens after he cleans up the horse stalls those chickens are so cute i'm literally obsessed um but yeah he needs to clean up in here because it's dirty ah, i love this game i literally love this game so much oh it sounds like kinsley learned to talk that's so exciting that is so exciting right perfect timing because Breelin just finished baking these cupcakes they look so yummy so i'm gonna go ahead and drag those into her inventory and we're gonna go ahead and pick up kinsley and i think we're gonna go to the bakery with kinsley and just hang out there for a little bit and you know do that do all that jazz we're not gonna stay there for too long just because Freeland's pregnant and we have a toddler with us and you know but we're we're just gonna go over here literally all she does is just walk over here so let's go here like can we go here with yeah let's go there with kinsley they're just gonna go on a walk ah she's so pretty i love her i can't wait to see what kinsley's gonna look like when she's older oh see this is why i love the sims 3 like this is literally why like actually oh and i had to hire a maid because obviously like it's too difficult to take care of everything here by themselves but yep he just fed the chickens um i'm gonna go ahead and have him get milk from one of the cows because they're all out for some reason i don't know why they're all out oh can you not get over there can you go to a different one what is his problem <laughs> literally go over to the what's going on with our our horses one of them needs to be clean too but yeah this is mainly what he does oh look at him he's milking the cow this is so cool i love this game i seriously do i literally love this game so much y'all I'm gonna have screenshots at the end that I've been taking of this family. Oh, we got milk, perfect. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and have him tend the garden. He's been doing really good taking care of it. Um, but we do need to sell like a whole bunch of stuff, so. He also gets hot really easily, which I should have made his trait like loves the heat or something so that he wouldn't get hot so much, but uh, it seems like a cooler. Oh, never mind. It's 87 degrees. I was gonna say it seems like a cooler day. Nope, it's 87 outside. Um, but yeah, he's gonna be doing that. And let's see how our girl Breelin is doing. Oh, she's behind. She's behind the counter. Oh, what's wrong with our food? Why is this guy not liking our food? Is it rotten or something? I'm so confused. Is it rotten? It says it's very nice quality. Look, we're gonna put these cupcakes under here, too. Alright, we have the cupcakes on display. They better stop judging our stuff and actually, like, buy something. Anyways. oh, Look at- <laughs> This is so cute! Look at her! Look at little Kinsley! She's on it all by herself! She doesn't even know how to walk, but she can get up there. Like, I love that for her. <laughs> She's literally a queen. What is she about to do? Oh, she's about to feed Kinsley. Okay. She's being a good mom. But yeah, we're just gonna stay here for a while. Like, I love being here. I love how girly it is. As y'all can tell, I love girly stuff. So, <laughs> I just love it. I literally do. Aw, mom goals. Mom goals. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and sit and feed our baby girl. How adorable. Y'all, I love this game. I literally love this game so much. <sighs> and like, she doesn't even have to worry about like, working here constantly because the employees that she has are really good. Like, they're always here. There's, there's typically people here too working, so I really like that as well. I also want her to use the tea set. 
um because i i love having tea in this game what's wrong with our horsies horsey stop jumping we don't really use the horses for like training or anything yet but we are going to probably like have um troy and blossom like we might either sell them or have them have like a baby and like if one of our future children wants to become an equestrian like we already have horses and stuff like that so that's really the plan um who is this this horse needs to take care of themselves let's go ahead and eat and i feel so bad for ben benji he has fleas but he won't let anyone clean him none of the pets want to be cleaned so they're just they're all upset because of the the fleas and it's really sad um okay Jax is starting to get a little bit too hot so i'm gonna go ahead and let him come inside and um i'm gonna have him grab something to eat grab some scrambled eggs and we can use the bathroom shower so yeah as you guys can see we have a lot of stuff that like we are pretty much preoccupied with just from owning this farm in itself and i just i love it so much like it's just a fun like little cozy family to play with and i really have been enjoying playing with them and stuff like that okay breland let's have some tea join him in the tea drinking join this random man look at her she is so classy she loves her tea i wish someone would buy our food like i rarely that's one thing i rarely see is people actually buy the food what he doesn't like our cupcakes are you serious are you serious anyways <laughs> look at how classy she is i love her i really do and kinsley is really having a blast out here she's so adorable so so cute uh, i really love this family so so much i can't get over them but yeah, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here because I just don't want this video to be super, super long. If you want to catch up more with this family, I do suggest checking out the link in my bio because I have my Twitch linked in there. I don't know why I keep saying bio. It's literally a description. <laughs> um, also, um, if you didn't know, I just started a Discord server. So if you need a place to chit chat, make new friends or send pictures of your Sims or whatever game you're playing, currently i totally recommend joining my discord server because we're, we're really nice over there so i hope to see you guys there and check you guys out in the next one bye